do counter or reaper you can use perimeter defense against it you can use a shield generator against it or shoot out a creature decoy to to distract it if you aren't in a vehicle you can hit it with a stasis rifle to easily freeze it and it will give you plenty of time to run away to counter a ghost leviathan you're going to do the same thing sort of that you did for a reaper all you're going to do is use perimeter defense against it or you can use the shield generator or you can use the creature decoy to distract if you aren't in a vehicle you can just hit it with a stasis right all right to counter the sea dragon it's going to be a little bit different than the last two because he has multiple attacks a lot more attack than the last two so he can basically he can fly at you with his hands He's got a ranged attack they, where he like shoots a fireball at you and he has like a regular bike. But the only vehicle that you can really counter this thing in is a Cyclops. And the best thing you can do is use a shield generator if it gets close to you. If it gets close to you. And if you see it at a distance, then you're going to use the creature decoy before it gets near you. Right, and we got the Sea Treaders. I, they, aren't, they aren't even really aggressive, to be honest. I just wanted to include them on this list just because they can still attack you. Sea Treaders won't actually, they won't attack you or do anything as long as you don't stand, like, directly in front of them. Like, like this. So, literally just don't do this and they won't attack you or do anything. All right, next up on the list, we have Ampules. So your best bet against Ampules is if you're in a Cyclops, you're going to use the Shield Generator against them, or again, pull your Creature Decoy. You can, you can wait until they get close if you want. Now you can't use Perimeter Defense against these guys because it just, it simply does not work uh, because, you know, obviously they're electrified. So the Seamoth is not going to be particularly useful here. But if you are not in a vehicle, you're going to use the Stasis Rifle against them like you would with any other creature it'll freeze them and give you time to run away but whenever you see ampules stuff like in the area make sure you don't shine any lights on them because they are like sort of sensitive to light and if you shine a light like directly on their face they will like instantly come after you all right now we have crab squids crab squids Crab squids are a little more annoying than about every creature on this list simply for the fact they can disable your vehicles. If you're in a Seamoth and you see a crab squid, then if you're fast enough, you can use perimeter defense against it to get it to run away. Now, if you're in a Cyclops, you're going to want to deploy a creature decoy long before this thing gets near you because, again, it can disable your vehicles. So if you use the shield generator and it gets up next to your Cyclops, it won't be able to damage it for like a few seconds. But if it decides to disable your vehicle, then it's going to turn off the shield generator and it'll be able to beat you up. You can dodge a CMP attack by either staying super far above it, like this, or staying super far below it, like this. Because the EMP, whenever it lets it off, it only goes like sideways or horizontally. And if you are not in a vehicle, then the same rule applies with the... Oh, sir. Same rule applies with the stasis rifle. You can hit it with a stasis rifle. Freeze it. Right, next we have the Grav Snakes. So all you have to do is, if you're in a Seamoth, use Perimeter Defense against it. Can't bring the Cyclops in their areas, so that's not going to be an, an option here. And if you're not in a Seamoth, you can use the Stasis Rifle to hit it, freeze it, and then give yourself time to run away. Another thing is, if you're since they're only they're only going to be in this one biome. So in this biome, you'll see that there's a whole bunch of giant, giant mushrooms all over the place. Try and stay away from these mushrooms. There's one right there. So. Yeah, in this biome, they like to hide in these little mushrooms. It's kind of where they like sleep and stuff. So as long as you don't go near the mushroom, they won't like jump out and hit you. But if there's one hiding in this mushroom right here and I were to walk up to it, he would jump out and like grab you and then go back in. So just try to try to stay stay away from these. So he's in there. Yeah, see, and he tried to, tried to hit me. He missed though. All right, moving on to smaller creatures, we have, first we have Bone Shark. So if you're in a Seamoth, you can use Perimeter Defense against them to make them basically turn around instantly. They'll stop chasing you. You can use the Stasis Rifle to freeze them like you would with any creature. You can use the Stasis Rifle on just about everything. They are sensitive to light, so don't shine any lights on them because that will draw their attention like dang near immediately. But if you have a flare, you can also throw that to distract them. And if you're in a Cyclops, then lucky you, they can't damage the Cyclops because they're too small.
right next up we have river prowlers they're basically like the lost river version of bone shark you can use perimeter defense against them to ward them off they can't damage the cyclops and if you're not in a team off and you're just like swimming around and stuff then you can use the stasis rifle on them all right for stalkers you're going to use if you're in a sea moth you can use perimeter defense against them to make them you know back off you can also just outrun them on the sea line if you have metal salvage you can drop it like in front of it to distract it because it'll go after the salvage it'll like pick it up and start like chewing on it if you don't have metal salvage you can also use like get like a small fish and put it in your hand and they'll eat the small fish and then it'll make them friendly i don't know how long it is but i know it's only temporary so once you feed them you can only like get away from them. We got the lava lizards, basically like the lava zone version of bone shark, kind of beefed up. So they have a regular bite attack, but alongside that, they also have an attack where they'll like cover their bodies in like lava, and then they'll shoot a fireball out. So they have like one ranged attack. The only vehicle you really be down here in that you can counter them in is in a cyclops because they can't damage the cyclops. So if you're in a cyclops, you're basically safe. Is he dead? But if you're not in a cyclops, you're going to want to use these stasis rifles to freeze it. Because I really wouldn't try fighting these things. Because they, yeah, I don't know. I just wouldn't really try fighting anything in the lava zone, to be honest. All right, next creature, next smaller creature we got is the warpers. Please don't teleport away from me. So warpers can teleport you out of your vehicle. Unless you're in a Cyclops that can't teleport you out of a Cyclops. And you see a Warper, if you're fast enough, you can hit it with Perimeter Defense and then it'll make it teleport away. Uh, if you're in a Cyclops, well, you don't have anything to worry about. He can't teleport you around. But in the event you do get teleported out of your vehicle. So if a Warper does teleport you out of a vehicle, you can either run from it on a sea glide, or if you're if you're brave enough, you can fight it and just beat it up with a knife until it takes, when, once it takes enough damage, it'll teleport away. Moving on to the smaller, smaller creatures in this game. The first one we're going to talk about are the sand sharks. You can easily outrun them on a sea glide. You can hit them with priority defense if you're in a sea moth. They can't damage the cyclops. You can also easily kill them if you're in a prawn suit with a drill arm, or you can just claw them to death with their either or works. And if you don't want to do either of those, you can always hit it with a stasis rifle and simply run away. But they don't do that much damage either. So. All right, so now we have we have bleeders. Now bleeders are basically like the leeches of Subnautica. They're like little parasites that latch onto your arm when they get near you, and they'll deal damage for as long as they are attached. Now, the easiest thing you can do, easiest way to counter these guys, is just to kill them with your knife because they don't have a lot of, they barely have any health to be honest, and they don't do that much damage either. You can do that, or you can grab them with a propulsion cannon and shoot them around, shoot them into a wall or something like that to kill them that way, or you just shoot them away from you. All right, next up we have the blood crawlers and cave crawlers. They're basically the same, so I'm including them together. Both these guys, they're basically like little little crabs, essentially. The blood crawlers are a little bit bigger and they can jump, they can just jump a little higher than the cave crawlers can, which is about the only difference they really have. Other than that, they have the same amount of health and deal the same amount of damage, basically. So the easiest thing you can do against these guys is to use the knife and just easily kill them because they only take like a few swipes with the knife to kill. You can also grab them with the propulsion cannon. You can grab both of them with the propulsion cannon, even though the blood crawlers are a little bit bigger. You can still grab them both. Exactly the same. Shoot them around. All right, and the last, very last creature on this list that we are going to include, if you could stop running away from me, is going to be the lava larva. Now these things can't really attack you, but I did want to include them on the list because they are extremely annoying. They don't do any damage to you, but if you're in a, let's say a prawn suit or a cyclops, they will latch onto your vehicle and they will drain energy from your, from your vehicles for as long as they are attached. Whenever these things latch onto your vehicle, you can either cut them off using a knife or you can grab them off using a propulsion cannon, which is the option that I recommend you do because it's way easier and it's a way faster process. When these guys latch onto your vehicle, just use a propulsion cannon or a knife to cut them off. And if you if they latch onto your cyclops, then you can also use the, you can just pop the shield generator for like half a second and then turn it back off. Because once you turn on the shield generator, it'll automatically kick off all the 
lava larva that are, if they're on your Cyclops, it'll kick them off automatically. And yeah, that is about every aggressive creature in this game. That is how you counter every aggressive creature in this game. And that is all I had for y'all. I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.